Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Channel Teabag. Uh, Gibbon here. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's having a good week. Um, it's nearly the weekend, so I guess for some people that's the time to rejoice and a time to celebrate and a time to be happy. I'm glad the weekend's coming because it's going to give me an opportunity to um, relax. In today's video we've got some hardcore domination for you to watch. Um, I've taken the sound out completely and I thought I'd just put in this really kind of chilled out track in the uh, in the overlay so uh, just sit back kick kick back as they say and um, and just kind of relax got a couple of things that I just wanted to talk about um, one of the first things that I wanted to actually mention was that I didn't realize that the the new nuke town map not that I'm a fan of that map by any stretch of the imagination but it was in the UK I think I'm right in saying this that it was a, uh, um, a game exclusive only so if you got the season pass you got nuke town and you got giant um, I bought the season pass off of, um, uh, off of uh, obviously off of Microsoft, off the Xbox. So I only get um, the giant zombie map, which was um, a little bit of a bummer. I didn't actually realise until I'd um, been, well, until I downloaded it that I that I didn't get the map um, for Newtown, which would have been cool because I know there's that Easter egg on there where if you shoot all of the, well, they now they look like robots now, don't they? But the um, the mannequins, if you shoot them all in the head in under two minutes, that just millions and millions and millions of them spawn in, and you can have a good time just absolutely destroying them all. I think it's an infinite spawn as well, so they just spawn in on a regular basis, and there's not a lot you can do about it. They're just always there. So one of the things I just wanted to touch on, I suppose, is the right way of saying it, is just what people's opinions are of COD two weeks in. So the new COD. Black Ops 3, how does everybody feel about it? I think for me personally, I am enjoying the game still. I think it's a really, really good game. I think that the the maps are brilliant. Um, I like the fact that you can obviously get the different active camos. Well, not active camos, but you get the different kind of camos and bits and pieces for each character that you rank up. Um, and I like the specialists streaks that you have as well. Obviously, some are, are more for killing people completely. Others are for kind of like I've got on my... Um, character here with a psychosis where you can like spawn out five of them and you change into the same colour as them and it, it kind of disorientates the enemy which I think is a really good thing um, still yet to be absolutely dominated on by any snipers or anything so that's a good thing I don't know whether or not there's that many snipers out there if it's something that's a little bit not as frequently seen anymore who knows um, I doubt that'll be the case as it as it kind of draws on but I very 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 rarely run into a lobby with any quick scopes or anything like that so I'm really really pleased about that I think the actual story mode itself is absolutely phenomenally good um, I'm really enjoying that um, a couple of us tried it on um, is it realistic or reality setting I can't remember which one it is Wow that's all I'm gonna say about that is just j j just purely Wow um, it was something that I didn't expect to be that way, it's almost like one bullet and you die, um, unbelievably so. Um, so yeah, I think the one thing that everybody is still experiencing, even with the, the patch updates and the settings updates and everything like that, um, there are still kind of severe connection issues um, in some games. Now I don't notice it as much in hardcore games, so I'm tending to play a lot more hardcore games now than standard kind of pub matches and stuff like that. So things like um, hardcore domination mainly, um, but I'll get into that in a second. One of the things that we've know, well that I've noticed personally, particularly when you play like normal mode, is you have issues with things like people rage quitting and it can't migrate to another host. So you could have had, and it's happened to me probably four times now, where you've had an absolutely amazing gameplay. You're doing really, really well. It's probably one of the best KDs that you've had for a long time. And then for whatever reason, it just loses connection to host or the person rage quits and it doesn't host migrate so it just kicks you right out to the actual lobby um, itself or which I had which was quite funny and you saw it in the you may have seen it in the gun game video that I did where you get connection issues where somebody who's been given host has got poor connection for, for the life of me I still don't understand why the game decides to give host to the person with poor connection because that's the type of shit that can happen where they just either lag out completely or um, the router goes, uh, I can't cope with this because they're using a Tesco dongle Wi-Fi for their um, internet. Um, so I, I think I, a couple of times on, on a few of the maps where you've been kind of levitating your way through portions of the map while it's trying to sort out who's going to get the right sort of connection and everything. Um, there's been a couple of occasions where you just get kicked 
completely out of the game altogether. So for whatever, I don't know what happens. You'll be connecting to, to a game and it'll just go along, go along, go along, go along and everything will be fine. And then the next thing you know, you've gone all the way back to the home screen. You've got to restart the game again. Um, again, this is something that I don't understand why that's happening, particularly when sort of like my internet connect, internet connection and I know other people that it's happened to, their internet connection's fine. Everything else is fine. So that side of things is getting a little bit annoying at the moment. Um, one of the other things that we've noticed, a group of us that have been playing together, it's it's almost like it's impossible um, to join into... Ooh, look at that transition into the next stage. Yeah, we're loving that one. Um, so, yeah, it's almost like it's impossible sometimes to join into a friend's lobby. Um, it'll just say lobby's not joinable or party's not joinable. You'll send an invite out. They try to join you. They can't join. Or you try to join a friend's lobby and you just can't. And one of the solutions that I got given for this was that what you need to do is you need to go into your router settings and open up a new port. Um, there's something like 3075 or 3750, something like that anyway. So, I'll oh, check this out. HCXD actually killed. Now, I use a HCXD and by the time it gets to somebody, it, it's either been blown up or it blows up itself because you've just taken too long. So, well done that person for getting killed with the uh, HCXD. Anyways, um, yeah, so... You, you you can't join other friends' lobby, so what you need to do is, is open up another port. And the thing that kind of frustrates me with this a little bit is is it shouldn't be that way. We're all using next-gen consoles. I'm not going to talk about dedicated servers because I don't think Treyarch, Activision, Raven, any of those people are ever going to do anything like that because it's probably too much of a, a larger job to try and get sorted out. So... I just don't see why when you've paid, what, in the UK, 60, 70 quid for a game that you then have to go into your router settings to be able to sign up. I mean, there's a lot of people out there, like kids and stuff, that might not be, or even, even adults as well, that might not be that savvy with things like internet settings and router settings and be able to make those sorts of changes. So, yeah, that's a little thing that kind of needles me a little bit. And then I, I, I had a chat with DPJ. Well, not a chat with DPJ. I, re I responded to DPJ's tweet. Um, you probably know him, he does a lot of Destiny um, videos on, on YouTube, a uh, really sound guy. Um, and he said about the connection issues thing and asked if anybody else was having it. And I mentioned it about, well, you need to kind of reset your router. And he said to me, um, my internet's absolutely fine, which is the same with everybody else. But then Activision sent out a tweet saying, um, can you tell us what platform that you're play, playing on? Do you play Wi-Fi or do you play hardwired? It makes no difference whatsoever at all whether or not I play wi uh, wireless or if I play hardwired. Because if I'm going to have to open up a new port, I'm still going to have to go into my router. Yes, I know the, the wireless connection isn't the best as ever, but I always try to be hardwired with this type of thing. But there are people out there that aren't going to know how to do that. And it's a bit of a, a worrying thing to do to have to go into your own router and change kind of the settings on it yourself um, to try and get it to work. So... I suppose they're kind of the main th that that it's the connection issues that's kind of still annoying people um, at the moment in terms of sort of how they feel about the uh, the game itself. Um, I haven't seen any massively OP guns yet. Um, I suppose that well, there'll be a couple out there. I mean, obviously, I have been cross mapped on numerous occasions by an SMG, but that's that's always going to happen. Um, it can be a couple of things that can be down to a connection issue or it can be down to somebody just actually being quite good with the name but um, I don't know what I'd love to see how they've got their, their gun set up at the moment I mean at the moment I'm using um, Man of War Man of War sorry I should say I really really like that gun I think it's one of the it's one of the best guns in the game without a, a shadow of a doubt and I saw a video that Nadeshot did talking about the Shiva which is effectively a two shot kill it's obviously uh, the fire rate on it that's down to how good your trigger finger is but it's um it's, a, it's probably like the updated version of the Foul from Black Ops 2. Um, and you can get absolutely destroyed in that. The other bit that I wanted to touch on was what I found to be kind of like the absolute best way for me so far to rank up really, really quickly. Now, I haven't pressed these yet because I don't sit and grind the game for long enough. Unfortunately, I have like a... Well, I don't say unfortunately. I'm fortunate to be employed. But to have a full-time job... Um, and other bits and pieces that I need to I've got like gym commitments and stuff like that so it's it's not easy for me to sit and, and, and grind the game out to get to, to prestige and stuff like that um, but I found that hardcore domination is pretty much for me it's been the best way of being able to to rank up quickly in terms of points wise if you have a really really good game you can end up with 10 even up to 20,000 depending on, on challenges that you've done and stuff like that so you can actually end up with um, 
a lot more points doing things like hardcore dumb and stuff like that and try things like going for headshots and things like that because that will i'm saying things like that a lot sorry that will um obviously increase your points here oh yeah this bit here this care package that i call in it's one of those hardened sentry guns and i have to say for me so far this has been one of the best streaks um that i've used on the game just watch what happens i'm gonna go and place it and this bad boy is going to go put in some serious work um, for pretty much most of the for, for the remainder of the game. I think I think I'm not 100% correct because I pulled this from a theatre. It doesn't show it in terms of kills. I, I I know I ended up something like 36 and I can't remember. I think I had over 20 deaths, but I'm not really bothered about my KD. So I had like 36 kills and everything. But just watch this sentry gun puts in work. Um, big time, it's just pulling people away. I get five kills off the rip with it, and I think I get up to about ten kills with it. Um, bit of advice in terms of what I'm running um, streaks wise I'm running um, uh, UAV care package, so make sure you've got engineer on so you can flip that over if you've got to engineer yet. So you can flip that over if you don't like what you've got out of the care package. Um, I have got the talent on, but I'd recommend doing counter UAV so you can counter whatever the enemy team. So if the enemy team puts up UAVs, you can just counter them straight away to, so they can't see them. Uh, this is a psychosis as well. I love this um, as a streak. I used it on the World at War map, and that actually worked to really, really good effect for me for absolutely disorientating people and just kind of slinking your way behind and being able to kill people. Um, so yeah, pretty much now we're getting close to, to the end of the gameplay um, for this one. What's that? Man of War is now, I think, level 17 now or 16. I can't remember. Um, but you can see my sentry still putting in work. Um, I think I decided to throw out another care package, and then I get killed here. I don't know how I died here, it's probably just bad aiming on my part, um, and that guy was a little bit quicker. But um, this bit here is quite amusing, because I go to try and kill him before he gets my care package, uh, and my controller dies, as you'll see in a second. But yeah, like I say, that's the end of the video, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to be doing more content like this on a regular. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon. Peace! It's true, I